O Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 35. Finding a Job. The following dialogue is related to Unit 7, Employment, from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 7.5. Types of Jobs in Canada. 7.7. Challenges in Finding a Job in Canada. 7.8. How to Search for a Job in Canada. 7.11. The Job Application and Hiring Process. 7.12. Work Norms in Canada. The three friends, Sadia, Obasi, and Ali, have been in Canada for about a year. They discuss the types of jobs in Canada, what they may qualify for, and the challenges they faced with finding their first jobs in the country during their first month. They move on to discuss finding regulated jobs and the process, norms, salary, and taxes that come with employment. Sadia calls Ali to invite him for a telephone call later with Obasi. Sadia? Hi, Ali. How is Quebec? <laughs> Good. Hey, Obasi and I are meeting up in a park tomorrow morning. Do you want to join us over the phone? Sure. I wish I could be there in person. Call me when you guys meet up. Great. I will. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. The next day, Sadia and Obasi are in a park while Ali is talking to them on Sadia's phone. <sighs> I am worried about getting a job after I complete my diploma. It is not easy in today's job market. What kind of jobs are you looking for? Well, I am enrolled in a hospitality program at a college. So I will be mainly looking at full-time jobs in tourism. Have you tried an internship? I feel like I am too old for internships. I remember you said your family ran a travel agency back home, and you helped your parents out in their office. No one is ever too old to start trying something new. An internship in Canada could help you a lot. In fact, many people start their careers with internships as a way to gain experience in the field. You may be right. I do not have much experience in Canada. I will think about an internship to get some experience. What about you two? What are you up to these days? I am working as a welder now. I was able to have my welding credentials recognized in Canada after I took some courses. You were a welder back home. That is right. I am glad I can keep working as a welder here now, too. Congratulations. Is that a regulated job? Yes. What do you mean by that? A regulated job? Well, there are two types of jobs here in Canada. Regulated and non-regulated. Regulated jobs make up about 20% of jobs in Canada. These jobs require a license from a regulatory body in your province or territory. What do you mean by a regulatory body? A regulatory body is a public or government organization that makes rules about practicing a job. You may have to pass exams and pay fees to the regulatory body to get a license. Can you give me some examples of regulated jobs? Yes. For instance, jobs in healthcare, financial services, law and legal services, teaching, engineering and architecture, trade occupations such as electrician, plumber, and mechanic. I think accounting is also one, right? Correct. Real estate and social work too. Welders are a type of trade occupation in Canada. Got it. Yeah, my friend is an electrician 
and he was telling me that he had to renew his license. Hmm, you are right. About 80% of jobs in Canada are non-regulated, though. They do not require a license, certification, or registration. The requirements for employment vary, but you may still be required to demonstrate a certain level of skills or education. Some of our first jobs here were non-regulated ones. Ah, yes. I remember my first job here when I worked as a delivery person. This was before I could speak English or French, and I did not yet have experience working in Canada. I have a high school diploma, but I could not finish college, so it was tough in the beginning. What did you have to do? Did you find what you wanted in the long run? In the beginning, I just took whatever job I could get so I could earn a living. But I had a chance to speak with an employment counselor at a government-funded organization for newcomers and assess my options. So, what did you do instead? Well, before I came to Canada, I worked in my parents' restaurant back home and enjoyed working with my hands. My parents taught me and my brothers how to cook, and I took a few courses at a college, too. After some time in Canada, I have decided to pursue my career in the restaurant industry here. I started saving money so that I can someday open a small restaurant, selling some of the best-known dishes from my hometown. That takes courage. Good for you. Thanks, Obasi. It was tough at first, but over time, it got better. I have found a job in a restaurant as a waiter for now. I am also planning to take some courses in college as well. Some of my coworkers are newcomers, like us. Wow, that is great. I had no idea that restaurants hire newcomers. Yes, and it is good because they hire people, young and old, from many different countries. That is great. How did your coworkers like it? Good overall. My manager is a woman, and for some of the workers, it was their first time having a woman as their boss. But this is common practice in Canada. That was an adjustment at first, but they got used to it over time. That is good. How about the work hours? What is the work week like? Well, everyone works part-time shifts. In total, it is about 16 to 24 hours per week. That gives them time to take language classes and take care of other things. But my manager, the owner of the restaurant, she works full time, eight hours per day, 40 hours per week. In the beginning, she said it used to be more than that to get her business set up. But now she works the standard full time working hours. And do you work Monday to Friday or on weekends too? Saturdays and Sundays are the busiest time. So we work those days and have Mondays and Tuesdays off instead. Ah, uh, yes. I have heard that some jobs are like this, where you have to work on weekends. I remember when I used to work night shifts on an assembly line. I had to organize my schedule with the rest of the family because I needed to sleep in the daytime. My wife Lena was not working at the time, which was helpful, because children cannot be left alone without supervision. What I liked about it was that there was a top-up on my salary for working the night shift, so I made extra money. Yeah, I used to work as a grocery clerk for evening shifts. During the day, I took classes. It was tiring, but now I have completed all my classes and I'm looking for a job in my field. What methods have you tried for job searching? I have searched for jobs online through employment websites like jobbank.gc.ca slash home and workopolis.com and of course on social media. I also visited a government funded organization. Obasi, do you know the settlement agency up on Park Road? Um, do you mind spelling them out for me? I want to write them down. Sure, not a problem at all. Jobbank.gc.ca slash home is 
J-O-B-B-A-N-K dot G-C dot C-A slash home. Workopolis dot com is W-O-R-K-O-P-O-L-I-S dot C-O-M. Thank you. Was it helpful? What did they tell you about how to look for jobs? They showed me all the steps I need to do to apply. First, search online on job sites. Then, prepare a list of your work experience and qualifications called a resume or CV. The settlement worker helped with this. The third step is to write a cover letter stating why you are the best person for the job. And then you send your documents. Make sure to tailor your CV and cover letter for each job. Then, the employer will review the applications and make a short list of candidates to interview. If the employer decides to invite you to an interview, someone will contact you to schedule it. During the interview, you will be asked to explain why you are the right person for the job. I also went to a job fair that was organized at my college last week. I printed copies of my resume beforehand and handed them to employers that interested me. One of them said they would call me soon. Looking for a job itself is like a full-time job. Yes, I am doing everything I can, but I have not gotten a single interview yet. I am starting to feel discouraged. Finding a job takes time and many attempts. Most people need to apply to a lot of jobs before even being invited to a single interview. And even then, they could be rejected several times before they finally get a job offer. Eventually, you will get one. Don't give up. Keep trying. I heard from a customer at the restaurant that some jobs are not publicly advertised. Did you know that? How can I find out about jobs if they are not publicly advertised? Have you tried networking? I do not have a large network of people in Canada who can connect me with a job yet. Try asking your friends, relatives, community members, and your sponsors. That could be helpful. You may have a larger network than you think. I learned about my job through someone I met when I was volunteering at the community center. He knew a person who was looking to hire a welder and gave me his phone number. The next day, I called him, and he invited me for an interview. That is how I got my first job as a welder. Wow! Really? I did not know about that. I have friends who got a job by contacting employers directly and meeting them in person. They would call the office number for an appointment with the hiring manager, or would print a stack of resumes and visit different businesses one by one, asking to speak to the employer. That is a good idea. And I will ask the Career Center about my college if they have any internship opportunities they know about. That would be fantastic. Do not be discouraged. Things take time. Thank you, Ali. I think I have to get going. It was nice meeting you both. I hope we get to meet in person soon. Have a good day, Ali. Goodbye. End of dialogue unit.